You all have heard of foolish questions and no doubt you've wondered why. A person who will ask them will expect a sensible reply. Did you ever bring a girl a box of candy, say, uh, right after tea? You notice how she'll grab it and then she'll say, Is this for me? Foolish questions you should answer when you can. No, the candy's for your father or mother, John the higher hand. I just wanted you to see it and now I'm going to take it away. Wasn't that a foolish question? Well, you'll hear them nearly every day. Then nearly every morning, there's someone around the place who sees you take the shaving brush and lather up your face. And as you give the razor a preliminary wave, this person will always ask you, are you going to shave? Foolish questions, your answer is I hope. No, I ain't prepared for shaving. I just like the taste of soap. I like to take the shaving brush and paint myself this way. Wasn't that a foolish question? Well, you'll hear them nearly every day. And then you all have seen the man who meets you on your way. He asks you, why are you going? And he'll listen while you say that you're going to the funeral of poor old brother Ned. Just as soon as you've told him, he'll say, is Ned dead? Foolish questions, you might as well reply. No, he thought he'd have the funeral, and <laughs> then later on he died. Brother Ned was so original that he wanted it that way. What not a foolish question? Well, you'll hear him nearly every day. Now suppose an elevator boy should forget to close the door. And you should tumble down the shaft, say, uh, 27 floors. And as you've reached the bottom, and you're lying there in earth, the first person that comes along will ask you, Are you hurt? Foolish questions, your dying words are no. No, I was in an awful hurry, but the elevator runs too slow. I find I save a lot of time by coming down this way. Wasn't that a foolish question? Well, you'll hear them nearly every day. Ha 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 ha!